was a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we'll kick off just moments away. We really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Arsenal versus Chennaiyan. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Thank you, Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Martin Odegaard. And that is going to be a free kick. unable to keep possession Martin Odegaard and promising stuff from Arsenal Gabriel Jesus a truly magnificent start an early goal in the game just what they were hoping to produce Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Partey. An encouraging Arsenal move. He's given it straight to the opposition. Xhaka! Palms away by the keeper. Partey. Zinchenko. Martinelli. An alert intervention. Could be a chance to break here. They need to get bodies back. Chance here. And it goes. The leveller. Thrilling stuff here.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Thomas Partey. Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli. And here's Xhaka. And a very good challenge. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. He has teammates around him. Zinchenko on to Jesus. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, the short corner routine. Marzinelli. And return to Gabriel Jesus. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Gabriel Jesus. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, very effective play in possession. Gabriel Jesus. And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Advantage, Arsenal. Takes the shot. And blocked for now. Now can they counter clinically? Good looking sequence. Possible opportunity. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Now, how about the short corner? chance but the goalkeeper comes through yes Derek we have to give credit to the keeper but surely he should have scored there that's a big big chance <laughs> favoring the short one Gabriel and here's Partey he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacker with it. Gives it a go! And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. He's driven in the corner. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Touched onto the woodwork. 
And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, a slightly underwhelming performance from Bukayo Saka, if we're being 100% honest. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting a gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. So back underway here into the second half. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, 2-1 it is here. Petar Sliškovic. Ali. That's a nice looking ball. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Very quick thinking there. On the offensive. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Gabriel Jesus, and a fine stop. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, opting for the short corner. And he takes on the shot. Couldn't quite hang on. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Now can they counter clinically? Chances on. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Loves to attack from the wide areas. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. El Kayati. A real opening now. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that.
So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Martinelli. A bad pass. Abdelasser El Kayati. Crossing opportunity. Just cutting off the supply. El Kayati. He's in behind. And thumped away. the keeper there to deal with it substitution time it is here who can he pick out well not the best clearance great defending here Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Alexander Zinchenko. Ten minutes to go. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? No problems for the keeper. Well, almost there, the final whistle nearly upon us. Have they done enough to secure victory? Stuart, your take. Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why... And a goal! Using his head in more ways than one to help the cause! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. In with a chance. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Strong play here to keep the ball, to wait for the support. Needs to clear it away. A fine block. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. No danger now. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Yes, Derek. They were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more.
too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.